A bottom walking sinker is a very good tool to have if you're trying to deliver certain baits or harnesses down close to the bottom. Now this particular one is probably a no-name brand. You can buy them in any tackle stores. And you can see that all it is is a lead body that's poured onto a wire arm that's been bent and crimped. So when this is going along the bottom, it actually goes like this. So that wire is touching the bottom first. As long as you keep tension on it, if you let it go slack, it'll fall down to the bottom, the whole thing, and it can get caught up. But normally they call them bottom walking because if you're moving with the wind or you're back trolling like we were or trolling in forward, the only thing that touches the bottom is this wire and it flexes even if you hit rocks. And behind that, of course, you put on your harness or if you're using a bait rig, just a straight uh, fluorocarbon carbon leader or monofilament with a hook or maybe some kind of a floater device and then of course this is where you attach it onto your line. Now worm harnesses come in all different sizes and colors. These are some of the ones that we were using. They're made by Lucky Strike and what I like about them is that they come on fluorocarbon leaders and if they're in heavy enough weight like 10 or 12 pound test they're very abrasive resistance. So it doesn't matter even if you hit rocks that have zebra mussels on there or you're bouncing on some of the rocks along the bottom, you're not going to nick the fluorocarbon. Now you can see that these come equipped with a single hook. So what I'd like to do is to add a second trailer hook. And I do that by taking one of these Gamogatsu bait holder hooks. These particular ones are a size six, number six. And I use a suffix fluorocarbon material. And I use 12 pound test. Some of you may think that that's a little bit heavy, but I like the sturdiness of the 12 pound because it keeps the stinger hook straight down from the first hook. And it's very easy to connect and a lot of times you'll just get the fish on the stinger. Now the other type of harnesses that Lucky Strike makes, and they're ideal because if you fish in waters where you've got a chance of catching pike or muskie, unlike the fluorocarbon leaders, these harnesses are actually tied on stainless steel wire. So the fish don't really see it, doesn't take the action away, but if you do get a big pike over 10 pounds or a large muskie when you're fishing for walleye in shallow water, they're not gonna cut through the line. So whether you use the fluorocarbon leader or these that are tied on stainless steel, worm harnesses are one of the most versatile and productive artificials that you can use with worms, especially for walleye.